Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be playing the game, but Arthur is going to be a giant. In fact, he's going to be 20 times bigger. So today we're once again going to be messing around with the model scale function in sort of the Red Dead Redemption 2 mods, and in my previous video we made Arthur really tiny. Well now we're going to be making him really big. So these are the different size you can get. He obviously starts at 1.0. If we move him up to 1.25, you can kind of tell that he's a little bit bigger. Like he's almost like the size of Tommy, the guy he fights in the mud. So 1.25 is pretty big. Uh, and then if we were to move him up to 1.5, uh, that's when you start to notice like, okay, this guy is really big, like abnormally large. Like I don't even know if there's a human that would be his size. So 1.5, pretty big. 1.75 is getting massive. Like, if you saw someone this big in real life, you would be like, uh, what the heck is going on here? And then 2.0 is, okay, this guy is starting to become taller than most of the actual buildings in game. So that's kind of sketchy. 2.5 is when we start to see Arthur's outfit degrade a little bit. Like his hair and his scarf actually start like waving around in the wind a little bit. 3.0, this is when you're like, oh my gosh, this guy is legitimately a giant. And again, his outfit starts to break even more. When we get him up to five times the size, that's when things really start to break on Arthur's character. Like his hair and stuff like that. It just gets really wild. In fact, at five times scale, we have to zoom out in photo mode just to see what's going on here like his pants are degrading his scarf is degrading his hair is like lusciously blowing in the wind it's pretty wild what happens at just five times his size and then if we go to 10 times his size things get even worse for arthur here like his character just doesn't even look like a human anymore like look how wild this looks like, everything just seems to start, like, growing off of him into this, like, black abyss. It's very strange. Now, we eventually fix this a little bit later on, but this is using Arthur's default outfit. So, I'm assuming that's what a lot of people would experiment with this as. And then, if we bump it up to 20 times the size, it's just not even a human anymore. Like, I don't even know what to make of this. Like, half of Arthur's body is under the ground. And you can just see, like, his hair is literally exploding. Like, it's turning into a black hole. It's just, like, taking up the whole world. So this is incredibly wild. And obviously, when you make Arthur that big, like, he obviously can't do anything. He can't walk, can't move, can't do anything like that. So that's pretty crazy. So it looks like the size that we can sort of acceptably have big Arthur as is anywhere between, like, three and five. That seems to be like the money zone of where we can have him as a big character, but not have him like utterly just like explode into a ball of nonsense. Now, it actually turns out that by removing some of the items that Arthur has on him, like his handkerchief, and if you give him a short haircut, he can actually look a little bit more realistic as a bigger person. Like as you guys can see here, uh, we've got him, I think, at like five times the size and his, he's not like freaking out or anything like that. So if you do remove some of his clothing or you change it out for some items, you will be able to make him more realistic. But anyways, I wanted to head into the town of Valentine just to see like what's going on here. And one of the first thing I noticed is like you can't sprint. Even though you're big and you feel like you would go from point A to point B in like two seconds, that's not the case. Arthur, he has like a maximum speed in which he can run. And when you're this big, it's like a very slow walk slash jog. So I found that to be kind of funny. Uh, another thing I found to be hysterical was the weapons. So the weapons don't grow in size with Arthur. So his pistol here is literally like the size of his index finger. Like, look how hysterical this looks. He's holding it with like his thumb and his index finger, and that's it. And things get even better when you actually use the pistol and you go in first person mode. It's this giant hand that's just like holding this very tiny pistol. In fact, in third person, you can't even really see him shoot. But in first person, it's hysterical to see this tiny little pistol firing off from this giant hand. And it's also a weird point of view, too, because the camera is going to be at Arthur's head, at least in first person. So... 
You almost look like you're in an AT-AT from Star Wars because you're taller than everything in the world and you're sort of like shooting down on people. It's really wild, that's for sure. And I definitely had a lot of fun with this uh, going through the town of Valentine uh, with my little pistol. I, I did find that to be kind of fun. Now, just like the pistol, nothing else in the world is going to grow to Arthur's size. So for example, if you wanted to get a bowl of stew, well, the bowl of stew is going to be very tiny. Obviously, nothing is going to be proportionate the way that like Arthur, you know, drinks and eats the stew. So it's just really silly to see this giant man with a tiny spoon eating a little bowl of stew. Just little stuff like that I found to be pretty fun as far as experiments go. I also wanted to see what would happen if we could ride a horse and it's absolutely terrifying. Obviously the horse does not grow, doesn't get any bigger. So this poor horse has just got this giant man riding on top of it and it looks absolutely amazing. Like the horse is kind of like floating off the ground a little bit. But Arthur's legs are like literally dragging underneath the world because he's so big at this point. Uh, gosh, I, I wish I almost asked you guys what I should have done beforehand because I feel like there's a ton of experiments that I didn't get to here. But this was amazing and riding a horse was just another fun aspect of Arthur being an absolute giant human being. In fact, now I'm kind of mad at myself. I almost wish I had tried more. Like what would happen if we went swimming? Uh, what would happen if we tried to go fishing? You know, what would happen if we got in a canoe or something like that? Or even tried to go in a building. What would happen if we were inside the building as normal and then changed ourselves to big? So we might do a part two of this. Let me know if you'd like to see that in the comments down below. Or you can reach out to me on my Facebook page uh, as well. Now, I also wanted to try as Big Arthur, could we actually do any of the missions in-game? So I actually tried starting one of the missions. Uh, I just did this one where you like wake up uncle, polite society, Valentine style. And even though you started as Big Arthur, uh, when the cutscene starts, you return to a normal size. So I was like, that's a little bit disappointing. But after the cutscene, you return back to normal, or I should say you return back to large size. And uh, this was incredible. Arthur uh, on the wagon here taking the girls into Valentine, and you can see just how big he is. Like, he literally engulfs the entire front of the wagon. And what's amazing is it just looks so normal, even though this is by far one of the weirdest things we've obviously ever done. So missions, you kind of can accomplish them as long as you're like a reasonable size. Again, this is like giant Arthur. It's not like 20 times size Arthur, but still very, very big. You just can't do like a lot of things when he is a complete massive size. So I'm honestly not sure which version of Arthur I had more fun with, the tiny version of Arthur or the big version. I will say the tiny version had like less breakable things. Like making him small didn't cause him to fall through the earth or have his scarf or his hair turn into this massive black hole. But having him be like a... But having him be this larger man, especially when you don't do like 10 or 20 times the size, but like three or five, it's really crazy to see like what would happen if Arthur was like 10 feet tall. I mean, it's crazy that he's like twice the size of a normal human being here. He just doesn't have like the attributes of someone that big. Like, for example, he can't uh, obviously run any faster. All his weapons are still really, really tiny, which I think is absolutely hysterical. So... I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments down below which one you thought was better, Big Arthur or Tiny Arthur. I also tried to get a ton of fun screenshots as Big Arthur in the town of Valentine. And I'm not going to lie, it was really difficult trying to like get photos when he was 10, 20 times the size because a lot of weird stuff would happen. Like when you're 10 and 20 times the size, we didn't even try moving earlier. You can't turn. Like, you can only walk in one direction. And that becomes kind of tough when you're trying to navigate through a town with, like, buildings and streets. So that's another thing that happened when Arthur was as big a size as he was, as he completely lost all of his motor skills. Like, he couldn't jump. He couldn't walk straight. So basically, when you're that big, you can't do anything productive. Whereas when you're super tiny, like when we were before, yes, it still takes an eternity to get to places because his legs were so teeny, but at least you could still like turn and do stuff. When he's so big, he almost becomes immobile, which I think is pretty funny. 
But anyways, that is everything that I've got for you guys in this video today. And that right there is what happens when Arthur becomes a giant 20 times his size in Red Dead Redemption 2. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What are some other mods that we should have fun with in game? Some similar experiences and experiments like this where we make Arthur big or small or we mess with the variables of the world. Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did gone to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest Red Dead Redemption and GTA videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.